Good morning. Welcome to PJ Knits. Thank you for returning to view these videos if you were, haven't been here before. I appreciate it. My name's Penny and this is PJ Knits. I live in central Illinois and I'm a knitter. I can be found on Ravelry as Penny J, Instagram, PJ Knits, and the show notes will be found later this week and <laughs> at www.pjknits.blogspot.com. I videoed last week, and um, when I did the playback, it was just a hot mess. And I got to thinking, you know, as the weeks go by, this is not getting super easy yet. <laughs> and uh, takes requires several takes, and I haven't got the whole... Um, editing thing down yet, but that's something that I plan on doing at some point in time, investigating. Um, it's been a lot of fun doing this and uh, and coming up with things to talk about. So anyway, I just wanted to talk about what's coming up for the summer. Uh, today, um, I'm going, um, in the summer months I have for June, July, and August, I have knitting vacations planned. And the interesting thing about these vacations is, and I don't know if everybody's like this, but <laughs> at least I am and one other friend of mine that I'll talk about um, in future episodes. Um, but I know that I'm going to go to these events a, a year in advance. So I'm not sure why I wait until a month before each event to, to scurry around knitting <laughs> for something to either wear or show and tell <laughs> or for a contest. Um, I, I just really need to get a handle on that, <laughs> but, um, half the fun is the plan is, is my thought. So I just want to talk about the first one that's coming up next month in June and it's called the zombie Nipocalypse and it's in Rochester. Um, my friend Debbie and I attended last year and had a ball and we're looking forward to this year going back. Um, the event is put on by Amy and Megan of a video on YouTube podcast um, called Stockinette Zombies that I um, started watching several years ago and started hearing about their retreat. And so last year I was uh, before, well, like more than a year ago, a couple years ago, I mentioned it to Debbie about, hey, this looks like it would be fun. And Rochester's not that too far away. And she said, hey, she'd love to go. And so that how that's how that all started um, with us. So last year was our, our first one. And um, before the retreat starts, um, they have a contest of sorts that starts on January 1st. And this year it started January 1 and goes through June 8th. And you're divided into teams. And then each team knits and then posts to the group on Ravelry their finished objects. And last year it was, you got points for um, yardage um, that was in your knit object. This year, it's grams, so that uh, spinners could take advantage of it. So what you do is, this year, you weigh your item after it's finished and put the grams on the uh, on the, the post along with the finished object. And um, there's two teams this year. and One ZK Team LOL, and the other one is ZK Team Love. And basically, when you get done, <laughs> you know, you just get bragging rights. Uh, <laughs> there's no prizes. You just get some bragging rights for the um, the contest. And it's really super fun to watch the group. And, and you kind of build some friendships with your group because um, you're seeing what they're knitting and then you're urging them on to see um, what they're completing. And not to mention, you get a lot of really super, super good ideas of things to knit for the future. So... I'm a planner, so when it goes into these things, I, I start thinking about I, my planning stage of what I can um, knit to get the maximum amount of points with. And so what I did last year, and I just continued it this year, is I got a file. And on this contest, you can get 50% bonus points if you use a designer showcase pattern, somebody who's in the designer showcase at the retreat, or if you use yarns 50% um, 
if you use yarns for somebody who's um, vending or has was vending last year. So my plan was to do as many designer objects that I could and maybe use yarn that I had bought. So in my planning stage, what I did is I made a, I make a little file and I stick in this file all the patterns from, that I have accumulated from um, vendors in the designer showcase. So, and I just put them in a file. That way I'm like, you know, if these are ones that I might want to do um, for the contest. Anyway, I put them into this little file just as a thought of what I might want to knit to get 50% because you know I, you can always use extra bonus points because a lot of things I'm doing this year it seem to be fingering weight which is difficult to get a lot of uh, bonus points for. So what I did then is I went out to Ravelry and I have a little method to how I was doing this is I go out to Ravelry and I pull up the designer uh, pattern that I have in my folder and I pick it up and then when I go into the pattern, um, Ravelry is super cool that if I have things that I have placed in my stash um, on a separate page, then it comes up and it will tell me that in my stash there are 14 ideas of different yarns that I can use for that particular pattern. And then if I click on that 14 ideas in my stash, or meaning 14 yarns, then what doesn't come up here is the picture of the yarn, but it shows me the picture of the yarn, the yarn that I have in my stash, and it gives me how many yards I have my, in my stash along with the colorway. So then I can potentially pick out a yarn from my stash, because this year, I'm really trying to use stash yarns as much as possible in my knits. But anyway, so that's kind of a little prep work <laughs> that I do for ZK. Now, unfortunately, my eyes are bigger than my belly. <laughs> and so I have a lot of thoughts of things that I want to knit for the contest. And it just doesn't, it just doesn't happen. It just doesn't come through. Um, because other things interfere. But anyway, I just want to show you, um, probably in the case of works in progress, of things that I am ho working on, hoping to make the June 8th deadline. Now, I have three on the needles right now that I would love to finish, but, you know, practicality comes in. I, I probably won't. But first of all, I am nearing the end on, and I've shown this before, my friendship road. This is from uh, Corey Eichelberger, and so she is a designer in the Designer Showcase. So I'll get 50% extra on this. And it's from a Minnesota 52 book that I'll talk about and have talked about before that I'll just touch on again. But I'm to the point now where I'm at the rib, and I hope to finish that up um, in the next couple of days. And consequently, <laughs> um, I just so happen to have a bag, <laughs> unintentional people, unintentional, that matches my sweater. And I bought this bag, which is a really nice tote. It's a hers. It's called hers, H-E-R-S. And I bought that last year at the mall next to Rochester when we went to ZK. So this will be a perfect ensemble, <laughs> as I would say. Um, for um, ZK this year and give me hopefully a finished object. Um, next thing I have on the needles is Sharp Arrow and this one is Prayer Girl Designs and she also attends the event and will be in the designer showcase. So I have that on the needles and the yarn that I'm using is Suburban Stitcher Sock and I showed this in a previous episode, and I decided on the pink because um, a couple of weeks ago I got some great feedback on um, an outfit that I wore that was in pink. And I thought this would be perfect just to give a pop of color. So I'm hoping that will be my next um, knitting that I'm knitting for ZK. 
um, and Suburban Stitcher, her yarn is, she's also in the I have, um, market. So and um, I bought this yarn from her. So that's next up. I really don't think I have any hope of finishing this because it's really just started. But this is called Suburban Wrap. And this may be some summer knitting. And this particular one, I love this pattern. It's a hoagie pattern. And I'm on the fence about this. Um, that one I have just knit and it is also out of Suburban Stitcher yarn. This will be a great fall shawl. So this may be one of those things that you, that I knit on all summer long and I will have it done in plenty of time for fall. Not really a summer shawl, but I really like the idea of wraps. Um, I like that for me. So um, not gonna have, not gonna get finished in time for ZK. I'm, there's just not enough time. And it's in my one of my favorite bags as well. And this is from um, Silver Shed USA, and I've talked about it again. It's kind of the, my feature feature product that I like. I really like her, her bags. Um, well made and, and different things, styles that you can get. Um, Silver Shed USA is Amy's mom. Who puts on ZK. So um, I, I really am fascinated with that. And I like her bags. I, I, I recommend um, Silver Shed USA as well. And I own a lot of those. We've talked about that. One of my other wishful thinking one, it just is not going to get done. But with all of the events that I'm attending this summer, this is going to be, I think, the go-to knit for summer for these events because it's stockinette. And I bought this kit um, last year at ZK. Pattern is called Ground Pepper. And the yarn that I chose for this was from Leading Men Fiber Arts. It's in greens, which is not in my... Um, wheelhouse usually, but it's um, a different and I wanted to kind of do a different kind of yarn and um, pattern. So this is all in stockinette. This is, should be a great um, retreat knitting project that you can just pick up and put down. And the only difference on this one, I think for me, is they started with the dark and went to the light. I think I'm going to go with the light to the dark because of the issue that I have with hips that I think a little bit darker um, pat patterning down at the bottom would be more beneficial to me. I, I'm just at the planning stage on that, but I do think this is going to be my go-to knitting project for all of the events that I'm going to this summer. Um, so those are the things that I, I would love to have knit in time for ZK um, for the contest, and I will be knitting afterwards as well for non-contest, but I thought that would be just, a, I just wanted to touch base on a couple of what things that I'm knitting on. Um, one of the things that I have talked about and that my Friendship Road um, is out of, and this is uh, books, is Minnesota 52. Um, again, I've, I've touched on this before. It, this is by um, Megan and Corey, and I'm doing the Friendship Road sweater by Corey. And there are, some, there are so many items in this book that I, I want to knit, and I have yarns for that um, I'm, I'm anxious to finish my Friendship Road. And move on to some things and I have yarn for that no no surprise to some people that's already on the needles but again some things you just you know I'm, I'm trying to to gear towards some um, summer knitting as well um, some summer tops and so this one I have a great idea for um, late fall early winter Christmas time some yarn that I want to do um, Minnesota 52 Knit Cahoots. I like this book. I, I recommend this. It has a great recipe in it for some bars in it. It has some great stories. There's Ode to a Knitting Friend in here that, that all of us, I think, can identify with because we have, um, we have friends that we love to knit with. And um, I am blessed with many, many friends. Um, it's a great little thing. Um, it's a, it's a just a great, it's a poem that Corey did, 
and um, if you have this book it's on page 115 and I, I just recommend you get it because it says everything that we always wanted to say to a friend and um, especially knitters they're the best um, bags I showed you the Silver Shed USA um, last year um, when we went to ZK I have to tell you um, I, I don't recall what the cost was but whatever it was I think we totally got back in um, goodie bag, in um, mug, a little pouch that I use every day, um, just in the camaraderie, you you more than got everything for the uh, for the amount. And I just I just recommend um, ZK um, to any of those who are, are close by. We have developed I have said many times developed a friendship with people um, at ZK. Um, I look forward to seeing them again um, and, and when we go there um, and spending more time with them and getting to know them even, even better. So, um, uh, and even if it's not that event, even if it's just a local knitting group that you get involved in, um, it's, it's totally worth the friendship that, and the sisterhood that you develop. So anyway, um, I've said that before and I will say that again. <laughs> um, I never get tired of, of saying thank you to my friends because um, they're the best. Ones that I knit with and see all the time and knit friends that I have spent a lot of time with in the past and, and miss and hope that they uh, I see them um, more often. And um, Karen, Linda, Jean, Joe, uh, Jan, till we, you know, we need we need to get together or, or at least keep up the friendships of, from the past as well. So enough of that stuff. Anyway, um, uh, stash enhancement. You know, um, I know I've said this before, but don't listen to me ever again when I say that I'm not <laughs> going to buy yarn again because you know that's just that's just not going to happen. But I'm I am trying to do stash yarn. But I wanted to just show you a, a couple of things. Um, a uh, few weeks ago was local yarn shop day and um, we went down to our local yarn shop the fiber universe and Aaron um, was a super hostess for the day and we just totally enjoyed um, the sitting around and knitting in the shop and supporting her and one of the things while we were there a, a, a person that I had met once before but um, had the occasion to knit with on that Saturday was knitting um, on a um, mystery knit and it's called transient by knit pearl hunter and I was fascinated with this pattern and the yarn that she was using and this is now a free pattern that you can download from knit pearl hunter and the yarn is that's used for that is called concentric and it's by um, haiku it's a hundred percent baby alpaca and of course Erin knows me well, and so she said this was the last one, colorway of this one. And so this, again, is not going to be, this will be a fall knit shawl. But look at this. This is the colorway. And I love the way that shows a little heart in there. Isn't that cool? So anyway, that's going to be for fall. I'm going to knit on that little gem. I love alpaca. It's my favorite, favorite yarn to knit with. So anyway, concentric. That's the latest. And then um, something that I saw on Instagram that um, Corey had bought. And <laughs> like, I don't need another one of these, but I just could not resist. And now that I'm showing it to you, I can use it. But it's, um, Corey showed this. It's a Camelback water bottle. And I bought the insulated one, so the water, you know, the sweat would fall in it. And then you can have them in whatever color you want, whatever little information you want on it. So I had to get one of those. And it is from Smitten in a Knitten. It's Smitten in a Knitten, Etsy.com. And she has a lot of other designs as well. So I picked up one of those, and now I have that for my summer months and for my traveling. And that's all the stash enhancement I have. And then I just want to uh, 
touch on before um, we go and I head off to work today um, what I'm wearing and I'll stand up here in just a minute but I'm gonna it this is um, serves dual purposes um, this pattern is called is from Corey and again Corey is one of the designers at um, ZK so I got 50% grams on it it's called the cropped cotton cardi and I got so many compliments out of it last week at hospice this particular project I knit in two days there um, I knit it out of ultra Pima two strands of ultra Pima one strand of Barocco weekend because that's what I had in my stash which is the white um, two days started uh, Friday night ended at Sunday night uh, and so again this is um, one of her patterns. It's a free pattern on on um, line. Um, I went in through Ravelry to Crop Cotton Cardi by Corey, Corey Eichelberger and downloaded it. And so um, this is it. And you know the thing that is so cool about this particular one is it has all different colorways in it purposely done so that I can wear a lot of these three-quarter sleeved sweaters all summer long with it and um, it goes with a lot I just love it I got a lot of compliments on it it goes with everything and I was hard-pressed to find a button for it I didn't want to have to go out and shop for buttons and so I found in my stash here a vintage button we'll do that this has to be oh, 15, 20 years ago. I bought it and it was vintage before that, which I thought was super cool. And I've done the uh, Corey method where I have, I have tacked the button down all the way through both layers because I'm never going to unbutton this and I don't want it flopping open. So um, I've done that. I have, I have just taken, when I sewed the button on, it's sewn all the way through all the layers and I just take it over my head like a um, pullover and um, so I'm loving it uh, it's it's gonna be a go-to just a cute you know cottony sweater for the summertime and this serves the purpose for the ZK um, contest this is also part of um, another one that I'm in that I I'm gonna talk about um, next time because I've got a surprise coming and I'm gonna talk about um, a group that I belong to, a podcast that I watch, and uh, something that's coming in the mail that I am so super <laughs> excited about. Cannot hardly wait. Um, and I'm going to do the reveal on the next podcast, which will probably come next week because I, I don't want to wait. And but I wanted to get this one out um, this week yet. So I'm going to upload this. Uh, head off to work, and um, tonight I'll be with knitting friends for a little bit. Um, this weekend, we're heading out to Iowa to be with my um, son and his wife and my two grandkids, which we haven't seen for a while and I'm looking forward to. So um, I'll take my friendship road with me. It's about three hours away, so I'll have time to knit en route and home. Um, there's not ever hardly any time to knit while I'm with them because it's so much fun to be with them and play, which is fine, which is I'm totally looking forward to. So. I hope that you all have a great week, um, and in the meantime, knit on with confidence and hope. Bye, and thanks so much. See you later.